to my channel and I'm Miss Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles. I need to start doing that intro. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing an album review and I had to pivot this to the way front than all the albums I've done. I've done like about like six albums in the queue editing and stuff but this has been put to the forefront so this is coming out first. Go ahead and schedule now. But anyway today we're doing Kesha's new album Rainbow. We're going to do a reaction to it and I will be just doing selective clips of the three songs or four songs she's released so far because we already kind of heard it and already reacted to it in other videos so I don't see the point of doing it again. So uh, we're just going to be skipping a little bit over that. So the first song is Bastards. So let's listen. Okay, this is so different from anything I've heard from her. She's singing like straight up almost country like. I love this so far. Okay, I don't know what kind of vocal lessons she's had, but my god, they're so good. Did you hear that voice? Oh, oh my god, this album is already shaping up probably be something pretty freaking awesome. I love this song. I love it. I just I love the message behind it because it's like don't let the bastards get you down. Don't let the assholes get you down. Just do your own thing and everything will be fine. Just push through and it'll be, I'll be okay. I really really like this song a lot. I'm going to give this an A, an a plus. I really do like it a lot. It's just basically it's like I don't know it's like a country fusion of pop there's mostly country up until the last like 40 seconds or so until where you actually hear a little more of like a Beatles type vibe which I really really like actually um it's just so good it's just really 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 good I really do like this so far um I have really nothing bad to say about it I mean it's just basically um I just I have nothing bad to say it's so good so um, we're going to listen to the next song, and it is called Let Em Talk. Uh, completely different from the other song, and I'm already loving this.
I love this song as well. So we're two for two so far. So um, I really, really like the song. I love the guitar. I love the 80s feel to it. And I feel like this has been like 80s, but slightly modernized for today's music. I really, really love it. But it has that vintage feel to it, which is so freaking good. You don't understand. I love it. And then she was hitting all the high notes and stuff, which again was awesome. So freaking good. I, I'm almost borderline speechless, but it's so good. I love the guitar. I love the high notes. I love the beat. I just love everything about it. So, um, definitely a, hint, a headbanger. If I had a lot of hair to actually do that, then I'd be set. But I don't. So, uh, the next, I think, four songs are just going lightly over because I already kind of covered them. So the next one is Woman. So let's listen to that. Okay, that was a, like I said, a really good song. I think I gave this a B, I feel like, but um, still a good song, and um, really liked it. Um, I think I already done this song, so um, we're just going to jump right into him next. Uh, like I said, another really good song. I believe I gave this an A-plus song. I love how chill it is. And, like, well, the chill beat, anyway. And, I, um, just everything about it's good. So, um, I think I already gave this an A-plus. So, we're going to jump into Praying. It's to say that's an A plus song off the bat. I know I've already done this one. This is actually my biggest video that I've ever done. I think it's got like 500 some views, which awesome. So I'll say A plus song. Learn um, so the, so uh, kind of freaked me for a little. Still love this song so much. Uh, the next song is Learn to Let Go. So let's listen to that one. I believe I already did that one as well. Yeah, I already done this one. Another really good song. I believe I already gave this A plus two, and I just love the country feel of it as well. So we're just kind of speeding through that one just because I already reacted to it. So I don't want to beat a dead horse and just, you know. So anyway, 
The next song is called Finding You. Ooh, I love the guitar. It's very different. Another really good song. Um, I'm gonna give us another A song. It's definitely good. I really, 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 really like it. Um, I love the guitar in there. I love the country feel for it. Um, I love her Alice. I don't know what she's been doing with, as far as vocal training, but she's like Olympics almost for her vocal ability. It's really good. Because, I mean, I listen to all of her other stuff, and, you know, there's a certain level of autotune in it, and I don't hear any autotune or any vocoder or any manipulation, period, so far. So that's actually very unusual, because most artists, they have some form of help, regardless of who you are. People usually have help. This seems kind of like... Also, she's done in one take. It sounds like Bastards was done in one take, and Let Him Talk was in one take. That's just my general feel of it because of the ending and how it sounds. So I really do like that type of style, and I love her albums at, um, I think, the bridge of the song or the breakdown. Uh, those were really good as well. I really like that. So the next song we'll be listening to is Rainbow. I love the orchestra kicking in. I love that. Another good song. I'm gonna give this another A. I really, really, really like this a lot. And, ooh. Okay, there we go. 
Um, I really, really, really like it. I love how like it started off really simple, just a piano, and then the chorus kicks in. Well, not the chorus, the orchestra kicks in, and that just took that to a whole nother level. I really, really, really liked it. And just the just her olives on the like I said, she's been spend in vocal training for the longest time because it sounds so good. So um, the next song we'll be listening to is Hunt You Down. Uh, needless to say, I believe her. <laughs> um, I really, really like the song. Um, I can give us an A plus song. It's so good. I just love the country feel for it, and I like the message. Like, if you hunt me down, I'm going to, I'm going to hunt you down if you mess with me. If you screw around with me, I'm going to hunt you down. She's saying like, I got eyes like a hog and all this other stuff, which I relate to because like when I'm in a relationship and someone tries to do me dirty, I got. Uh, it's like a hog. I read messages like no one's business. I mean, I'm on it. <laughs> but um, I really do like this song a lot. Um, I just love her high notes and stuff. I just love her vocal acrobatics and all these songs so far. So um, I have really have nothing bad to say about the song at all. So the next song we're going to listen to is Boogie Feet. Probably one of my favorite songs from this album is another A+. I really love this song. I love fast-paced. I love the energy in it. 
I love the 80s beat thing that I said earlier. Like, I really don't like this type of 80s, but I love this right here. And it sounds a little bit like old, old school Kesha, which I actually kind of like. It's just a nice little callback for that. So I really, really like it. As far as I mean, like, old, old Kesha, I mean, like, it's just a party song. It's just like, come dance with me. Are you scared of these boogie feet if you don't want to dance? Stuff like that. And I just love how like, it just says, like, you know, just dance with me. <laughs> And um, I just I just love the song. It's really good. Um, and it's definitely the um, the last like thirty five seconds. I think it sounds like a sample from another song, but I cannot pinpoint it. And it's really aggravating. But anyway, moving on. Um, the next song we're gonna listen to is Boots. So let's listen to that. Okay, this sounds epic right here. Just a rolling stoner on a road for the cowboy guns and a mess. Saturday night I tried to find a way to Japan, but you took me by the hand. Now every morning I wake up with you right next to me. I'm walking along with you. So slide over here. Tell me the truth. This is a great song. I really like this one. This one actually needs to be a single at some point. It has to be a single at some point. This is such a good song. I love the beat. I love I love the country influences in this. I'm starting to actually like country a little bit more as I'm broadening my musical horizons. And this is such a good combo of pop and country. It's like been fused together. It's so freaking good. I have nothing bad to say about this. This one's an obvious A plus song. So freaking good. Um, so the next song we're gonna listen to is called Old Flames Can't Hold a Candle to You. Can't hold a candle to you. Can't light up the night like you do. 
Damn. That was a good song. Um, this vocal runs at the end, this high notes between her and Dolly Parton, which I forgot was even in the song. Uh, sh- they both did an awesome job. I'll give the song a strong B+. Plus. It was so good. I love how country it is. I really do like it. It's just kind of stripped down, has a nice melodi- melodic beat. Can you say that right? I'm still kind of awestruck about the last... 45 seconds of them just hit note after note after note after note. Wow. That was really good. Um, I have nothing really bad to say about it. Um, yeah. It's just a nice country song. I really do like it. So the next song is called Godzilla. Not to be I was expecting. What? What? <laughs> I love this song. It's so ridiculous, but I love it. Um, I'm, I'm going to give this an A plus just because I love it. I mean, it's so nonsense. I just love that so much. And she has such conviction with it, which is hysterical. It's just, it's just a, I think it's just meant to be a type of funny song. If it's not, someone let me know in the comment section down below and what it's supposed to mean, because that's hysterical to me. Uh, <laughs> I need to compose myself, okay. Uh, so, I'm going to say plus. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, the last song off this album is called Starships. Or, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, it's not. It's called Spaceship. Sorry. Alright, so let's listen to that. Yeah, not a beat I was expecting. At all. Okay, that was epic. I don't care what anyone says. That was amazing. She went so low, then hit so high. Oh my god! Sorry, that was amazing.
That's crazy good. I don't give this another B. I really like her spoken outro. I really do like that. And I just love everything about it. It's just so, again, it's like very country influence. I like this a lot. Um, everything about it is pretty good. Um, so as album as a whole, um, I really liked everything about it. So I don't give this album a B plus. It was really good. Um, very few notes and I already kind of explained them so um, I'm not going to go back into detail but I just love again about her vocals were so on point throughout this entire record this entire album was just amazing I really enjoyed listening to it and I hope y'all did um, like the songs as well so um, this, this is actually going to do it for me I'm pretty much done so if you like what you heard and you like the songs or you didn't please let me know down below on what you think of the songs do you agree or disagree with me um and then come back for more awesomeness from me so just like comment and subscribe because i'll be doing more stuff as they come out and falls will be crazy busy but i'm super excited for it so um like i said just like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video and please have an awesome day this has been a great day so far so i'll see you on the next one bye I'm not